Do you have a lot of unused items that you want to get rid of? If that's the case, then watch out because you can get scammed while doing so. Recently, two of the biggest online marketplaces, OfferUp and LetGo, have merged. So the OfferUp scams and the LetGo scams will come from the same place from now on. My name is Dom, I'll be your host while you're watching Scam Detector. Be careful where you shop online because all these fraudulent practices can apply to similar traditional websites such as the Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or even Poshmark. Before we get into the scams, please remember to watch until number one coming up at the end of the video because that's how you're most likely to get scammed while selling online. Number five, using authority to get trust. Life is pretty much built on trust. And how are you gonna trust someone you only met online or only had a conversation with over the phone? You really need to trust your instincts in these situations. Now, I would say that this scam is pretty odd and doesn't happen very often, but you won't believe what these scammers do. They would use military names and tell you that they are soon to be departed, so they need the item you're selling on OfferUp, LetGo, or Pushmark as soon as possible. And you're being a good citizen with a good heart, obviously you want to help. We're talking about a hero after all, right? But in reality, what they'll do is to ask you to ship the item and get on with the sales contract before the money they transferred arrived on your account. And if you out of pure goodwill complete their request, you definitely won't thank for their service. That's a bad salute, isn't it? Usually, they would send you an invoice of the transaction, so you would be convinced to ship the item, let's say a vehicle in this case, before you actually receive the money. And that leads us to the next scam. Number four, fake invoice. In the world of Photoshop, everything is possible. You can pretty much fake anything you'd like and chances are that nobody will notice. Believe me, I'm really good at Photoshop. That was bad. So if you're a scammer and you're good at Photoshop, you will definitely make fake invoices. This scam usually happens when you choose to receive the payment via PayPal. PayPal is an awesome service for managing money online and many people use it daily. We actually did a video on PayPal scams that you can check out by clicking right here or after watching the video. I would suggest after watching this video. That was a bad wink once again. Scammers would create fake invoices, but proper looking realistic invoices, and they would even send them to you from a paper looking email address. The reason they would do this is because they definitely don't want to pay for the item you're selling, and this way you would be convinced to ship them the item before the money actually arrived on your PayPal account. Now, from my experience, PayPal transactions happen the moment they're made. But you know, complications can always arise and if the victim isn't careful enough, they might fall for this. And if they did and they realized that their money ain't coming, they will want to go after it. And what's the first thing you would do? Well, look at the invoice, obviously, and call the customer service center. Number three, fake customer support. You are getting really mad because you just shipped your expensive item but your money is nowhere on the horizon. So what do you do? You look at the invoice and call the number listed on there thinking that you will reach the let go or offer up customer service. Now remember, the invoice is fake. Only that you don't know this because you are the victim of this scam right now. So you pick up the phone and you dial the number. It's a valid number and the real person will pick it up. We will assure you that everything is all right, the transaction has indeed been made and your money will arrive shortly. So you hang up the phone, you calm down and you go on with your day. But let's look at what just really happened. Well, the person you talked to was the scammer's inside man and by the time you realize that your money isn't coming, your item, let's say your car, has already arrived to the scammer and got maybe already taken apart or sold again. And at this point, it's really hard to go after your item. Should have been more suspicious, I guess. Number two, fake checks and money order. Now, this scam is really popular because it looks the most legit at the time of the sale, whether the transaction has taken place on the let go off rough or Pushmark platform. Fake checks and money orders are used by scammers because when the sale happens, the money gets actually deposited on the innocent victim's account. 
it will take days until it turns out to be a fraudulent transaction. And when that happens, you will be left without your item and you will also have to pay the money back to the bank if you had already gone shopping. If you want to learn how to avoid this scam and the other ones in the video, make sure to stick around after number one, which is the most common scam happening on LetGo, OfferUp and Poshmark at the moment. Number one, the runaway scam. This scam is most popular with cell phones and smaller items. Let's say you want to sell your old cell phone and you want to get paid in cash and you also don't want to deal with all the shipping and stuff. So you do it old school. You meet up with the buyer at an arranged location to get done with the business. This is what many LetGo and OfferUp users prefer to do. But this is what really happened. Hey, what's up? Hey man, so this is the phone? All right, man, can, can I check it out? Yeah, sure, here you go, man. Thanks, yeah, it looks... And he's gone, and if you ain't some Yushin Bolt type of guy, you're done. Now, what do you do when something like this happens? You basically just got robbed. You go to the police, obviously, but it will be damn hard to find this guy because A, you only saw him once, and B, you agreed to meet him at a location like this. No security cameras or eyewitnesses. A real bummer, isn't it? Now let me show you how to avoid this scam and all the others I talked about in this video. I'm actually gonna hop on LetGo Trust and Safety site and read what they suggest. Be careful if you receive messages from someone who is not local to your area. Bring a friend with you, especially if the item you've arranged to purchase or sell is high value or too large for one person to carry. Always trust your gut if something raises a red flag. Be aware when the buyer offers more than the listed price. Also be aware of offers that involve shipping the item before you receive the payment. Well, basically, you always want to receive the payment first and then ship the item. But definitely you want to get real proof that the transaction has been indeed made. But that was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss a new video. Make sure to visit scamdetector.com where you can find over 1300 exposed scams. My name is Dom. I'm going to see you next time and you watched scan detector.